Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to yet another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about Red Dead Online. And in this video, I'm pretty much going to do a checklist for you guys to be able to get ready for Red Dead Online and pretty much everything you guys need to know about the release day and how it's all going to work out. So we got a ton of stuff to cover in this video, ranging from the actual release date and also how you can get yourself signed up for the beta. Pretty much everything will be covered in this video. And also, if you have any further questions, leave them in those comments down below. Anyways, if you guys have not already, be sure to drop a like and also subscribe down below for more daily Red Dead Online content just like this. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right on in into the two quick shoutouts of the day, and right after that, we'll get into the actual video. So the first quick shoutout of a goes to Falling Too Dark. He's a really awesome YouTuber that started recently, but he does some really cool game reviews and also some gameplay videos and also reviews of gaming products. Be sure to check out his channel in the description down below and subscribe over there for some really awesome videos. And the final quick shout out of it goes to My Road Tours. Now he does some really awesome road tours and he goes to different famous places and also very interesting places around the world. Be sure to check out his channel in the description down below. He has some really awesome content over there that I highly recommend you guys check out. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go and hop right on in into this video. So we should be receiving an official online gameplay trailer from Rockstar Games sometime this month for Red Dead Online. Now that trailer will include pretty much everything we need to know about the experience of playing Red Dead Online as they did with GTA Online. The official gameplay trailer pretty much gives us a glimpse of what we're able to experience. Now that gameplay trailer should be coming out sometime this month with a beta starting sometime later this month or early next month. So be sure to check out the Rockstar Newswire or stay tuned on this channel for more information surrounding that later this month or early in December. Now Rockstar Games did confirm pretty early on that the online mode for Red Dead is going to be a beta, which is pretty troubling to some people because the beta mode for GTA Online was never officially considered a beta. However, it does seem like Rockstar will be doing an open beta for Red Dead Online, and an open beta of course means that everyone would be able to play Red Dead Online for a limited amount of time. Now it is quite weird and quite unique to see Rockstar Games doing an open beta for one of their online games because they usually don't do that, but that does make sense to some degree. Now it will be possible that you're going to have to sign up for this beta. Since it is a beta, it is possible that they're going to be doing a limited amount of people that will be able to play, and that is totally possible. So Rockstar will be giving out beta signups if this is the case, and you will be receiving a beta signup first if you do own the game. So since they are probably going to be doing an open beta for this online mode, if you do own the game, you will of course get priority access versus people that don't own the game, but be sure to stick out on this channel and also the Rockstar official newswire for more information regarding that. Now I did discuss this in my video from yesterday a bit more detailed, however I do want to go over it yet again that it is rumored very likely that Rockstar will be taking a pretty unique approach to this online experience. Compared to other games like GTA Online and also GTA 4 Online that they did, it is going to be different because your story mode and your online mode are going to be interconnected with one another. Now a good implementation example of this currently is the most recent Ubisoft games. So games like Watch Dogs 2 and also the most recent Assassin's Creed also take advantage of the same style of gameplay. Now the way it's rumored to work is basically instead of loading into online or loading into story mode, you're just going to load into Red Dead 2. And then from there, you're going to have other people inside your lobby right away. So it does seem like this is going to work pretty seamlessly as long as Rockstar does a good job with bug fixing it and making sure everything is smoothed out before the full release. And on top of that, I do want to mention if you do want to play by yourself and you don't want anyone in your open lobby, I'm sure there's going to be an option to disconnect from the online servers and you're going to be able to play story mode as you're doing right now with no online connection. Now again, be sure to take these rumors with a grain of salt. However, it does seem like that's how it's going to work this time around. So a lot of you have been asking the question of why is Rockstar doing a beta for Red Dead Online when they did not do a beta for GTA Online? And the answer to this is pretty simple and I just answered the question about a minute ago and that is because this is a complete new implementation for Rockstar to do an online mode. By making the story mode and online mode interconnected it does definitely make the game a bit harder and with Rockstar having so many glitches and bugs within the first couple weeks of GTA Online and them getting so much bad press for it, I believe they want to alleviate that by sticking a beta stamp on it, and if anyone complains, they can just say it's a beta, it's not the full release, the full release will be much better. 
So it's pretty much them just saying that the game is not 100% complete yet in terms of online, and they're working on it, and there will be some bugs when you first load in. Now I do hope there's not going to be a huge hacking problem as there was with GTA Online. I'm not sure if any of you OG GTA Online players remember, but when GTA Online first came out, there was a huge hacking problem and there was these things called DNS codes. Now basically what you did is you literally went into your console settings, for example on your PlayStation, and you would go ahead and change your DNS server in your network settings to a network server that you found online. And you basically load it into GTA Online and you would rob a store and you would get like two billion dollars for doing a pretty much a simple robbery because all of the values on that DNS server were switched around. Now Rockstar took like about a month to patch this and then they had to end up wiping everyone's money because everyone had like billions of dollars because of doing this. So hopefully there is not a big issue with hacking inside Red Dead Online and I'm pretty sure that Rockstar has taken a much harder stance this time around because the hacking situation with GTA Online was definitely getting out of hand. So hopefully I'm going to be able to get my hands on the Red Dead Online beta early for you guys to share some awesome clips and also some live gameplay of me playing some awesome Red Dead Online. If you guys enjoyed this video and if you found it useful, be sure to drop a like and also subscribe down below for more daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content. Again, I will be covering a little bit further into Red Dead Online the next few days, so if you guys are interested, make sure you guys subscribe and then also hit that bell so you guys get a little nifty notification whenever I upload a brand new video. Anyways, that's gonna wrap it up. I'll be sure to see you guys later on today with another Red Dead 2 or GTA Online video and also tomorrow morning with another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. But until then, have an awesome day and I'll be sure to talk to you guys then.